Please listen carefully. Hello. I will now show you how to use the rounded corner lower third for Final Cut X and Motion 5. The first thing you need to do is go to your title browser inside of Final Cut X. Then go to Motion Master Templates and then do a search for rounded corner. And then you can simply drag and drop it to your timeline. All right, and now we can close the title browser. To customize this title, just go to your Inspector tab, and then we can add a drop zone. So let's click on the drop zone well, and let's find a shot. I'll add one of my headshots, and then click on Apply Clip. And to adjust this headshot or your drop zone, just double click inside of it and then scale it and move it around to wherever you need. And then toggle on and off your transform tool. Also, if you use a logo, so if I click on the drop zone here and go to my logos, and if I add a logo and then click on apply clip, you can use the transparency if you want, or you can also use the fill opaque. Enter this here. And then you can use the fill color to fill the color of the, of the background of that circle. So for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the headshot. To change the title, just simply double click on the text you would like to change. Either click on it or double click. Then go to your text tab and add your name. We can also change the color by going to your face section. You can also change the font, the sizes, as well as all your other text parameters. So for this, we're going to change the face color and we're going to mash it to the shirt that I have. And then I'm going to change the title. And I will also change the color. So just click on the color box open up the face parameter, click on the color box, and then click on the magnifying glass and just choose on a color you want to use. To change the color of this uh, lower third, you can just choose either top color and change the color to whatever you want. Going, for this one, I'm going to leave it just a little off. Actually, I'm going to leave it white. A little off white. And then I can also change the bottom color. So for this I'm going to also match it to the red. And one more parameter that I have added is the lower third roundness. So you can make it more round or make it sharp. And uh, that is it. I try to keep this very simple. I also made a tutorial so you can learn how I created this uh, template. Just make sure you click on the link below. If you have any questions or comments, please visit the website at motionmastertemplates.com. Thank you for your time and have an amazing day.